Hello and welcome to my video. In this video, I will be describing the differences and similarities between word processors, text editors, and integrated development environments or IDEs. So first, let us take a look at a word processor. And the first thing you will notice that makes a word processor unique is all of these formatting options at the top. These formatting options will allow you to say, type in something here such as hello, and we could do something like format this to be justified to the center. We could turn this into something like a title, which would make it larger. We could bold it. We could underline it, italicize it. We could format this text however we want. If I load a sample document from Google Docs, you will see this sample resume here, which has many formatting options applied to it. We have things like this title at the top where you could place your name and it's bold faced. We have things, text that is colored blue, other text that is bold faced. We have text laid out in this grid like system where we have something over here and then over here we have another thing we have another thing here another thing here and all of these formatting options make it so we can make nice beautiful documents such as this sample resume right here and although these word processors are able to allow us to create beautiful documents all the formatting options are not needed when we are programming. So that is why we have things like this text editor here. This is Sublime Text. And one thing you will notice about this is that there is not a whole lot going on. We do not have any formatting options up here at the top. And we simply have an area down here where we can type and edit text. And we have a count of line numbers over here. So if I came over here and typed something like hello world, you would see I get hello world on the screen. I could hit enter new line and you see my line counter will go up to two now. And then I could type something else on this line. Like, I don't know, goodbye, we'll say. And you could type an entire document up like this as long as you don't need formatting options. So this is very useful to a computer scientist or a programmer because computer scientists and programmers do not need to format their code to look pretty. We don't need bold faced. We don't need italicization. We don't need justifying things to the left or the right or the center or making headers and things. Those would just complicate things and add more data to our files. But in a program, all we want is our actual code that is going to be run and, well, maybe some comments as well. But one thing I do want to note on is that these text editors, if I were to say have some code in here, this is C++ code, a very simple, basic, hello world C++ program. Well, the text editor will color code the code in order to make it easier for us to tell what the different tokens within the code are. But this video isn't really meant to get too deep into coding. I just wanted to show you that it will color coat our code to make it easier to read our code as we are programming. Lastly, we have IDEs. This is a very common IDE that is used in programming called Visual Studio Code. If we look on the left-hand bar here, we have some different options. We have things like this extensions bar where we could install different extensions. We could search for extensions. There's some extensions here that will help us with C++. There's many different extensions in here that are able to be downloaded to help us program and to do things like autocomplete syntax for us and color code syntax better and all sorts of different extensions to do different things to help programmers. There is also this debugging tab so we can find bugs in programs and fix those bugs. There's also a file explorer that we could toss in a directory here and it would show all the directories and files in that directory so we could easily navigate through one directory, editing files in that one directory. And also at the bottom here you see we have a terminal. So as we 
if I come up here and have a file, if I were say typing a program in here in this file, I could save that and then just run the program down here or compile and run the program down here in the terminal or do anything like use a Unix command that I need down here in the terminal. Right now I'm not on the desktop. I could do something like CD desktop and hit enter. And now you see I am in the desktop. So this is just a basic terminal down here on the bottom. And this terminal may not be open when you first open up Visual Studio Code. You may have it like this. If you click down here, you see I get this little arrow. If I click and drag, it will bring up a terminal. Or at the top of the screen here, you it's kind of cut off. You can see, well, you can't really see. Let me try and drag this down a little bit. If I show the top of my screen here, you can also see that I could just click terminal and click on new terminal and that will also open up a terminal down here or you could use a shortcut which would be this shortcut on Mac or on the PC it's going to be a different shortcut and that will make your terminal window pop up. So this integrated development environment or IDE which is Visual Studio Code in this case is combining a bunch of different things. It combines a text editor, it combines a terminal, it adds extensions, it combines a debugger. It takes all of these tools that we need to program and combines them into one nice graphic user interface so we don't have to open up a bunch of different programs to program. We just have to open up this single IDE. And well, that is all I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.